and get your kiss on. It's 9 o'clock right now on a Tuesday. But more importantly, today is Halloween. Halloween's actually one of my favorite holidays. So I don't have class first period, but my second period starts in about 20 minutes. So I gotta go pretty soon. But besides Halloween, it's actually a big day for me. Actually, I'll probably go on a long, deep talk about this once I mention it. So I'll just tell you guys after school. Oh, love, it's Halloween. Are people dressing up for school today? I wanna dress up for school, but I don't know if anyone else is. And I don't wanna look stupid. All right, I'ma just dress up after school. Anyway, not only is it Halloween, but it's also the day that my channel blew up last year. It's the day that my life changed, which sounds crazy, a little dramatic, but hear me out. Imagine actively making YouTube videos for four years straight, and then finally a video blows up and kind of like makes you somewhat relevant. It's a cool moment. Imagine being a six-year-old junior in high school that makes cringy YouTube videos for a non-existent fan base. Now I'm a cringy 17-year-old kid that makes cringy YouTube videos for a cringy fan base. Mm. See how I brought you guys down with me? We all in this together. We're all in this together. That shit's life changing for a teenager. Like my DMs used to be a dry well. Now Michael Phelps can go swim in my well. It's crazy. And trust me, I don't abuse it. I don't like do anything, you know what I'm saying? I know YouTubers always getting exposed for like, you know, stuff in the DMs, but trust me, I don't do anything bad. I don't manipulate my fan base like that. Really though, any viewer that's talked to me like, have you had a bad experience? I'm sure I've been cool every time. I'm a pretty genuine person. Anyway, enough self-loathing here. That vocab though. But I remember that week of just blowing up. It was crazy. Like the first day, I was actually at a dance convention in Denver. On the first day of the dance convention, my sub count went from like 4,000 to 6,000. And I was like... Huh, that's weird. And then I saw a specific video getting quite a lot of views. It was the I faked a Japanese accent for a whole s school year in high school, something like that. It's a, it was a long one. It got taken down for privacy, unfortunately. But I'm actually gonna remake it because I feel like I didn't convey what this whole thing was properly. And I just... <laughs> So I'm doing it again. It'll be better, funnier, everything. It'll be good. It'll probably go viral again. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. But the second day of the dance convention, I went from like 6,000 to 10,000. Day after that, 10,000 to 20,000. Next day, 50,000. I was going crazy. Like right when I hit 10,000, I was like, God damn, that's been a goal of mine for a really long time. And I hit it. And then three days later, I hit 100,000, which is crazy. But I actually woke up, saw that I had like 110,000. I got like 30K overnight. Like I said, it was crazy, but I actually felt more joy when I hit 10,000. I don't know. It was weird. I think it's because like after three days, I kind of like got used to blowing up, I guess. But yeah, ever since my channel blowing up and just kind of being relevant on the internet, like my life's just been so different. Like I definitely focus a lot more on YouTube. I treat it more of a job now rather than a hobby, which kind of sounds bad. But for me, I think it's really cool. It's fun. Like turning basically a hobby into like a job, like a part-time job kind of thing. Like that's super fun. And just making money from that, just doing something you've always been doing for four years. Like that's cool. Like for my quesadillas, you guys, do you guys play sports, play music, instruments? I I don't know just imagine doing that normally and then just like starting to get money from it like for no reason you don't even have to leave your room to do that people treat you differently of course you know people always ask me that which yes they do but like i think it's cool that you know people treat me differently because of it it's like it's something i'm proud of it's something i earned you know hopefully i can blow up even more so i could do this full time so all the quesadillas who share my videos spread them out like butter thank you i really appreciate it you guys really don't know how much i value all all of this like you guys all of this everything so i want you guys to know that enough sappiness i gotta go to class and i'll see you guys after school and i just finished school the transitions are crispy so i don't really know what i'm doing now but good thing it's halloween so i can go trick-or-treating but not just any trick-or-treating i do my way of trick-or-treating let me show you in a couple hours when it gets dark but actually a second for you guys all right quesadillas it's a couple hours later let's suit up <laughs> What's up, we saucy? Ken had his back and he knows a lot about that. And he knows how to trick or treat like Kate. Let's go. We here, baby. That's a local grocery store. Why trick or treat and go to different houses and then get candy you probably don't even like when you could just trick or treat at a grocery store and get candy you actually want? Shall we?